uh, the, the prosecution raised this question about whether the outcome would be different if the races of the, the defendant and, and the victim were different. Do you think it would have been different if George Zimmerman was black? Well, I think that the things would have been different if George Zimmerman was black for this reason. He never would have been charged with a crime. To make a statement like that, to suggest that somehow uh, a black um, uh, accused black man accused of killing someone would have not been arrested. I mean, that flies in the face of everything we know about arrest rates and the probability of arrest. I mean, Mark O'Mara has been an attorney long enough to know that we do not exactly hesitate to arrest black people in this country. So if what he means is that there would not have been a push by the civil rights community to arrest a black shooter. Well, I suppose that may be true, but the difference is a black shooter would have been arrested on day one. There would have been no need for a public outcry by anyone to have him arrested. The odds of such a shooter being believed uh, when he claims self-defense, I think any reasonable person knows um, that, uh, that they would not have been allowed to go home. They would not have remained free for six weeks. Uh, they wouldn't have been given bail in all likelihood had they been arrested. And we know this not just because I'm speculating, but we know from the record who gets arrested, who gets held without bail, uh, who is more likely to be prosecuted for, for uh, uh, you know, shootings like this. We know from a study in Florida, for instance, that people who claim self-defense or stand your ground versions of self-defense are more likely to succeed with that kind of an argument if they uh, are white than if they are a person of color. So I, I think that uh, Mark O'Mara probably knows better, uh, but in a moment of his own hubris, you know, uh, let, let his excitement about his victory get the better of him.